On behalf of Chancellor Juan Salgado, I would like to welcome everyone to the City Colleges of Chicago fiscal year 2024 budget hearing. First, I wanna thank my colleague CFO Maribel Rodriguez, who joins me for the presentation today, as well as Deputy CFO Jeff Wong and the budget team for their hard work in developing this year's budget. In addition, I wanna rec recognize the collaborative effort with faculty and staff from all of our colleges, as well as district office leadership over the course of several months that built this coming year's budget. CFO Rodriguez will now provide us with some context on today's hearing. Thank you, Veronica, and welcome everyone. A few notes before we begin. The proposed FY24 budget is posted online for anyone who wants to review it at www.ccc.edu forward slash finance. Our presentation today will provide an overview of the proposed budget for FY24, which will be considered by our Board of Trustees at its July 13, 2023 board meeting. We will cover CCC strategic plan and budget priorities, as well as a tentative FY24 budget and an update on the district's cash position. This hearing is also being broadcast over the City College's YouTube channel. Thank you. Veronica, you may proceed. Thank you. The FY24 budget invests in our five-year strategic framework and college strategic plans which are guided by six key levers, exceptional student experience, equity, economic responsiveness, excellence, collaboration, and institutional health. Within each lever, there are system-wide and college initiatives that aim to strengthen our institution and achieve our vision of becoming recognized as the city's most accessible higher education engine of socioeconomic mobility and equity, empowering all Chicagoans to build a stronger and more just city. You can find more information on strategic, the, our strategic framework and college strategic plans on the CCC website. The proposed FY24 budget is balanced. We are pleased to share that City Colleges is successfully recovering from the pandemic with recent enrollment periods exceeding the community college average in Illinois and nationally. The FY24 budget represents a year of continued support for students and communities rebounding from the financial and health, health consequences of COVID-19. This budget also includes strategic investments in model programs to advance City College's ambitious student equity goals. Planned investments include strategic scholarship programs to improve access, such as Future Ready, offering no-cost short-term programs in high-demand fields, the STAR Scholarship for recent high school graduates with a B average, and the Scholarship for graduates of CPS option schools. This budget also includes a continued investment in, comp in a comprehensive suite of student supports to further retention and completion, including new evening and weekend mental telehealth supports, new benefits coordinators at every college, and a full complement of wellness centers, advisors, tutors, career and transfer centers, undocumented student liaisons, and more. We will continue to invest in the Chicago Roadmap, an unprecedented partner partnership with the Chicago Public Schools to support, to support our students along a seamless path to and through college on the way to their chosen careers. The proposed budget also reflects increased faculty and staff pay following successful negotiations with labor partners. In order to maintain the positive enrollment momentum, we will continue to invest in an enhanced marketing and enrollment infrastructure. And one final item to highlight is a capital program targeted for in-demand emerging programs, technology, deferred maintenance, and life safety infrastructure. The FY24 budget holds the credit hour rate of $146 level for the eighth straight year, recognizing the lingering economic strains of the pandemic on our students and their families. To balance the FY24 budget and continue recovery, City College's relies on taxing to the city levy cap, tax increment financing surplus proceeds from the city of Chicago, continued historic levels of state PPRT collections and expense management practices to achieve continued operational efficiency. Now I'd like to ask CFO Rodriguez to share an overview of the proposed budget. Thank you. I will now provide an overview of the FY24 preliminary budget. 
a capital plan and the district's current cash position. There is more information available in the tentative budget book that is available online at ccc.edu forward slash finance. The overall FO24 budget totals nearly $522 million and is comprised of the following. The operating budget at $350.5 million, a capital plan of $54.9 million, and the restricted resources totaling $116.2 million. I'll break down each of these components on the following slides. Total revenues for FY24 is $350.5 million. The budget will be our first in three years without the Federal Emergency Relief Funding, or HERF, provided to help with the impacts of the pandemic. This resource gap will largely be closed by continued state tax or PPRT collections in excess of historical amounts and increases in enrollment, raising our tuition revenue. The Illinois College, uh, the Illinois Community College Board best practice recommends that a third of our revenue comes from each of the following sources local revenue, tuition, and state funding. As you can see in the chart, we fall short on the state funding at 29% or roughly $102 million, and on tuition at 22% or it's 78.7 million. However, we make up for the sum of the shortfall in local revenue, which includes property taxes and the city TIF at 43% or 149 million. The rest of our revenue sources come from auxiliary enterprise funds, such as childcare funding at 3%, or 11.8 million. Other revenues such as investment income at 6.9 million or 2%. The next slide shows our expenses, summary by budget line or object. The biggest component of our budgeted expenses is salaries and benefits at 76% or $268.2 million. The next biggest component is fixed charges, which includes debt service or bond repayments, as well as district-wide leases at 6% or 19.6 million. These two components comprise 82% of our total expenses. The rest of the expense items are for contractual services, materials and supplies, and scholarship and waivers, and the proportions are all consistent with prior years. Our total capital plan for FY24 is 54.9 million, which includes projects across all colleges. The plan is predominantly investments in technology enhancements and working through our backlog of deferred maintenance projects. Other areas of focus include renovating biology labs, the expansion of our nursing program, and renovating the Westline Learning Center. Funding sources for these projects will be a combination of state funds and cash reserves. While we have received some state capital funds for critical deferred maintenance projects, many of the projects planned for FY24 are subject to better further assistance from the state. This view is on the restricted resources totaling 116.2 million. Over 59% is for direct student assistance, 48% is from federal financial aid and 11% from state MEP funding. And the remaining funds are from various federal, state and local grants. This chart illustrates the district's operating cash balances from FY16 to FY24 budget. Our long-term financial outlook provides a plan to achieve stability in the district's cash position. In 2017, cash balances fell below our $70 million CCC policy of 90 days cash in hand. During this time, we relied on our cash reserves to fund our capital improvements due to state budget impasse and lack of a capital bill for several years. Under Chancellor Salgado's leadership, we have stabilized our cash reserves primarily due to the sale of the district's headquarters in FY20 and expense management efficiencies. During fiscal years FY21 through FY23, the federal stimulus funds allowed us to preserve our cash reserves. And we are projecting cash balances in FY23 at $147 million and around $125 million for FY24. With that, this concludes the FY24 City Colleges of Chicago public budget hearing presentation. I'm happy to take any questions you may have. There are no questions from the public, so we will end the hearing. If anyone joining via live stream would like to submit a question, you may do so at CCC budget at ccc.edu at your convenience. Thank you all for your time.